going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today's video, I want to go ahead and touch upon a post that Mark Rubin put out over on Twitter. But again, this post is huge in my personal opinion because this is something that we have been discussing for a very long time. And I have never, never seen a developer actually acknowledge this mindset or acknowledge what's going on in this way, shape, or form. And with him saying this, it, it really does give me hope. And I'm, I'm really hopeful that sometime in the future, if we can all get together on the same idea and really push, really drive it home, I think that we could see just a, a, a beautiful, a absolutely stunning, gorgeous future for gaming as a whole. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And of course, I will be live streaming today over on Twitch between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm mostly going to be playing X Defined today, but I might actually add in a little body cam near the end of the stream as well. So of course, if you guys are interested and you want to hang out a little bit and chat it up, I have a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, if you've been playing X Defiant for a while now, you've probably at least seen one cheater. At least one blatant cheater. I'm not talking about the guy who outguns you and has suspicious aim. No, I'm talking about someone who's flying around the map or literally auto-locking everybody in the game and just getting a, a full list of headshots. You know, I'm talking about really blatant cheats. You've probably seen about maybe one or two instances, you know, and probably even more. I've heard more, you know, people say that if they've seen 10 plus, I, I, I don't know. Personally, out of my experience, 70 plus hours, I've seen two, two guaranteed cheaters that I can mark down as 110% cheating. And it's typical. It's what you see in free to play games, right? I, it's hard to avoid. But I got to be honest, for a free-to-play game, the developers are doing a phenomenal job with handling all of this stuff. Seriously, because I was expecting way more cheaters from my personal experience. But I actually saw a post on Twitter, which Mark Rubin, you know, responded to, showcasing the name of the cheater. You know, some might want to block their name. I could give two craps. You know, they're blatantly cheating. Screw this individual. They are, they're the absolute, you know, peak, the, the peak of losers when it comes to gaming. But he said, sorry to bother you with this, but I hate these types of players. And then showcases the image of what this person is doing here, as you can see. They're floating above the map, just spraying people down. Honestly, who is this person again? What, what is their name on uh, Twitter? No Limit? No Limit? Seriously, thank you, because there's a lot of people out here who will have a cheater on their team, and they won't care because they're winning. And they're just going to be like, oh, well, the cheater's on my team, so I'm just going to enjoy this moment, and I'm going to just rack up some easy XP. Thank you for actually going out of your way, posting these clips, even though they're on your team, and, you know, making sure that, you know, this team could see what this... Absolutely. I'm trying to prevent myself from cursing, but seriously, the people who do this stuff are absolute douchebags. The, like I said, they're the peak of losers within gaming. But, you know, like I said, he showcased all this information. And Mark Rubin responds saying, me too. But they aren't players. They're losers with low self-esteem who hate video games. <laughs> oh, I love this, man. If we didn't have to deal with cheaters, the devs that had to deal with them could be making cool features. But instead, they are stuck dealing with these losers. And he also went on to, you know, say in another post saying that this individual did indeed get banned. So, you know, thankfully, they're out of the game. You know, hasta la vista, goodbye. But seriously... It, it, it's really sad to see that all these developers, it, 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 so much more could be introduced into these games that we play nowadays. So much more support could be given. But instead, full teams have to literally spend all their time and dedicate hours upon hours upon hours of just, you know, constantly going at these cheap providers and trying to counter what they're doing. It, it's a cat and mouse chase 24-7. And it really is a disaster. But, you know, another person named Robert over on Twitter, you know, added in on this post saying, Mark, because the game is free and people can just make new accounts, would you be open to the idea of hardware and IP bans? No mercy is the only way these people will learn a lesson. If you don't want a permanent ban, don't cheat. It's that simple, in my opinion. And Mark responds saying, hardware and IP bans don't work. You can easily spoof them. But I honestly believe the whole industry should get together and lobby to make cheating illegal. This section right here is what I find most important. Because again, I feel like a lot of people in this community have been bringing up this topic for years now. That cheating is just ridiculous. And there should be legal action given out to the assholes to decide to do this within these games. Right? 
I mean, honestly, I guess some of these larger publishers like Activision, for example, even though we give them a ton of crap, they have gone at multiple different, you know, cheap providers and really have struck them down with legal action, taking them to court, really messing them up. You know, there's been some good stories. So yeah, you know, they're handling it. But the problem here is is that there's always going to be another cheap provider because there's always going to be consumers willing to cough up money to do so. It doesn't matter how many cheap providers you come after as a massive publisher. It's irrelevant because someone else the next day will pick up that spot. They'll say, oh, so-and-so just got taken out. This is my time to shine a little bit. And yeah, of course, there's a massive risk that comes along because, again, these huge corporations like Activision will come for you and take everything that you own. But there's a lot of people out there who don't care. You know, the, the, how many people live on this freaking world? There's plenty of personalities. There's definitely someone out there who could give two craps about what Activision has to say or what they will do. They don't, they don't probably don't even mind losing everything. And they're, they're willing to cash in on this, you know, this product that can literally give them millions. You know, producing cheats is nothing light, okay? The people who do this stuff pull in millions and millions and millions of dollars. I mean, these people are driving Lambos, living in fantastic houses, and they're providing cheats cheats okay like i said people are willing they're willing they, they don't care what activision will do they will do whatever to gain that type of lifestyle so it's not about going against those people it's about going to the people going to the ones who are uh, buying this crap literally because if people didn't buy it then nobody would be producing them right let's be honest here maybe someone will produce cheats but it'll be way less but if the people who are the ones purchasing the cheats, actually had legal action, then we could probably see something really be done. Because that's the only way. Because what happens when a cheat provider gets taken down, right? What happens when they get removed? Like I said, even though a million other cheat providers might come in and try to pick up their slack, the people who purchased those cheats, nothing happened to them. So they just go on and buy a different version of the cheat. They have no action. They have no problem. They, they have no situation that they have to deal with. When it comes to purchasing these cheats, if the provider gets taken down, they get taken down and they get to go on with their day and just do it again and do it again and do it again. The worst thing that can happen is they pretty much get permabanned, you know, or IP banned or something of that sort, which again, Mark Rubin even said here that, you know, even though, yeah, it could be useful, it's still, you know, it doesn't completely work. There's still ways to easily work around it. There has to be legal action taken to the people who purchase cheats and who get caught using cheating software. Okay. And, you know, it doesn't have to be jail time, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> cheating in a video game, even though, even though I could see some way, you know, some way, some form of, you know, legal action being taken from the actual publishers themselves saying that, you know, this individual is making us lose money. They're stealing from us. You know, they're, they're, they're ruining the, the image of our product by cheating within it and making people, you know, move away. It, I could, I could potentially see, you know, a publisher, you know, <laughs> trying to justify locking up an individual for cheating. But I, I just don't think that's going to be very realistic. I think the best thing you could do is slap these losers with a fine. I guarantee if they have a $1,000 bill to pay for cheating, they wouldn't want to do it again. You know what I'm saying? Even if they're made out of money, it's still going to be obnoxious. And I, I don't know. You can even make it worse. I, didn't Nintendo sue someone who did something, whether it was cheats or leaks or something like that, for millions of dollars? I mean, this dude is literally in debt for the rest of his life. For eternity to Nintendo for doing what he did. On, I, I, it might sound over the top, but I think similar action should be done here. Because guess what? Absolutely nobody. Nobody would cheat in this game if they had a $10,000 bill to pay every time they got caught cheating. You know, nowadays, you just simply pay, you know, what? A little under, like, 50 bucks or something like that. 40 bucks, you could probably work around this. Get a little fake phone number or something like that and get right back into the experience. And then, they, again, you know, it's so easy to hide these cheats sometimes as long as you don't rage hack. If you play in a game like Call of Duty, the anti-cheat doesn't even detect you. So you could just sit there and vibe for months and months and months, years on end, just doing the same crap that, you know, you've always been doing cheating so you know it's it's way easier now if they actually struck these people down with a huge fat bill 
I think that this will be resolved. But again, Mark Rubin, I appreciate him actually coming out and saying this because I don't see many developers say or talk about this stuff. It's just usually the same thing. You know, it was a cat and mouse chase. We're constantly working on it. We'll do what we got to do. But he spits facts here. The whole industry needs to get together and lobby to make a change on what the heck is going on with the cheating situation here. And it's never going to happen unless we indeed all get together as one and try to force a change through here. And you know what? Honestly, I know earlier I said they don't deserve jail time, but realistically, I think the people who create these cheats, who publish these cheats, you know, the ones who are pulling in millions of dollars off of, you know, literally taking whatever Activision is building and then, you know, <laughs> twisting it to allow cheats to be into, you know, they get jail time. They went thousand and if they got jail time, I guarantee more people would not want to produce cheats. If it's just a fine like this, they could probably find a way to live, right? But if it's jail time, guess what? You're getting locked up if you go ahead and do something like this. And then for the people who purchase these cheats, slap them with a fat fine, a huge fine, and that will make them not want to go ahead and purchase them in the first place. I think that if, if this could be handled in that way, shape and form, that would be phenomenal. But again, there's no way we will ever be able to hit that end goal unless everybody in the gaming you know, realm, publishers, developers, player bases, we all have to unite and try to make this change happen. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And if you want to check out any of my live streams, I'll be live today over on Twitch. You guys can find the link to that down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.